In this video, we're going to look at arithmetic operators in Python. This will be the plus operator, minus operator, multiplication, and division. Although the arithmetic operators with numbers in Python will be what you would expect uh, in any other language, the arithmetic on strings in Python is very unique and different from other languages. And we'll see that this is a reason why Python string manipulation is very easy and powerful. So we'll start our Python session. Define x to be a number. Basic arithmetic would be x equals x plus 2. So this will expect to be 4. Indeed, it is 4. Similarly, we can do subtraction. So x minus 3 we expect to be 1, and it is. And we also get multiplication. x times 4 is 16. 4 times 4, x, time, x divided by 2 is 2. We can also look at uh, floating point numbers. So, so far everything has been an integer. With floating point numbers, we would have x equals 7.4, for example. And then we still have multiplication, but we are able to keep track of decimals. Now let's examine how arithmetic works with strings. So y is a string, it just uh, is the word high. We can try y times 4. What y times 4 does is it concatenates four instances of y into one string. So we see that high, 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 high is the value of y times 4. Similarly, we can combine strings very easily. We can see that y plus z is just the concatenation of the strings consisting of y and z. Now that we've learned about basic arithmetic in Python, we're going to see how Boolean operators work. Boolean operators are your basic and, or, not, etc. Basically the logic that you would think of in a program. Now, the syntax for Boolean operators in other languages can sometimes be a little confusing at first. For example, the double ampersand for and, or the double vertical bars for or. In Python, we actually just use English words and and or. We see that uh, Boolean values like true and false come up when we use comparison operators in Python, like checking for equality, checking if one number is greater than another, and so on. And we'll see that in the following example. So here we have x as a number, 7.4. We can check if x is, say, greater than 5. That's true because 7.4 is greater than 5. Similarly, we could check if x is less than 2.8. This is false because 7.4 is actually greater than 2.8. In addition to your basic greater than and less than operators, we also have greater than and equal to. x is less than or equal to 7.4 is true, but x is strictly less than 7.4 is false. One nice thing about Python is what we call chained inequalities. So we can check if x is between two values, say 2.1 and 10. And this is true because, again, x is equal to 7.4. So how we manipulate these true and false values is what we call uh, Boolean operators. So if we want to say x is greater than 4, and x is less than um, 10.0, we just use the AND operator. So AND is similar to the double ampersand that you would see in other languages. The OR um, statement is true if one of the two statements is true. So x is greater than 4 or x is less than 2 is true. Even though x is less than 2 is false, x is greater than 4 is true. So the OR statement is true. In addition to AND and OR, we also have NOT. So NOT false is true, and NOT true is false. We note briefly that numbers can be interpreted as Boolean values themselves. So if y is equal to 10 and x is equal to 0, x and y is, is uh, 0 which denotes a, a false value, since x itself is 0. And all numbers that are not 0 are interpreted to be true. 
Similarly, not y is false. And if we cast y to be a Boolean, we see that it's true.